thing that was smart was to bring the gloss black all the way up to the opening of the tailgate here where the handle is. I think that really kind of slims it up very, very nice with the uh, LED lighting out back. And there's that RS badge. How come on the Blazer they put the RS badge in a place that makes sense, but on the Camaro they throw it down the lower portion of the bumper? Hey, go figure. Pretty cool looking um, hatchback spoiler. What I like about it is not just a flat slot, comes out a, a pretty good length. You got the gloss black, kind of hides the um, third brake light in there. But let's go ahead. We've seen the outside of the new Blazer. Let's see what's powering it and see if you like what you see. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, time to take a peek underneath the hood of the new 2019 Chevy Blazer. When it comes to the RS level trim package, that is that tried and true 3.6 liter V6. Now, to come into the Blazer, it does come with a four cylinder, a 2.5 four cylinder. So with that 3.6, you're gonna get 305 horsepower, 209 foot-pounds of torque. It's mated to a nine-speed automatic transmission. It's got a 349 uh, front axle. When it comes to this vehicle, you could actually get it with all-wheel drive. Towing, if you're gonna tow anything with your Blazer, you're looking around 4,500 pounds worth of towing. And this one is weighing in around 3,980 pounds. If you go with the all-wheel drive, it is going to be a little bit heavier at 4,200 pounds. What's interesting, there's lots of room here to put something different, maybe a V8, but with this V6, even though with the larger engine, lots of room, not really impressed with what the engine cover looks like. Now, I'm glad it's not some big, huge aircraft carrier looking thing, but did somebody actually put effort into this? But at the end of the day, how many Chevy Blazer owners are gonna pop their hood and be like, wow, check out that engine. I do like the way the whole Chevy lineup comes with the hood struts, no uh, pop rods or anything like that to pop up your hood. Let's go ahead, you heard the stats, you checked it out, let's go ahead and fire this one up. All right, guys, here we are inside the 2019 Chevy Blazer RS. Let's start with the door panels. I really like the fit and finish, and I like the quality of materials. You got wonderful leather on the armrest, goes all the way into the door pull. You got some of that um, nice gloss black plastic there. Really gives it a high upscale feel, breaking up the sea of just your traditional harder plastics. Now, at the top of the door panel, I'm quite surprised by the window. It is harder material, but once you transition from the door into the dash, I like what they did with the RS package. You get this nice red chrome finish on the uh, all the AC airlets. You have nice softer material on the dash with the red contrast stitching. There's that gloss black that follows, not a ton, then you have, in this particular trim level, an 8-inch infotainment screen. What's interesting is that, in a way, I kind of like where they put the start-stop button because when it's located down here, a lot of times the steering wheel blocks it or, you know, the uh, windshield wiper arm. So it's nice that they have that up here. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. Probably get a bunch of music uh, blasting or something. But what's my zonk, and this is something that I kind of looked at it for a while before I, I came to my conclusion, is... The screen is kind of tilted a little bit and these quick access buttons are, it's a little bit, you kind of have to be really thinking about what you're doing when you hit it because you see here how there's a lip and it's sort of like sunken in. So when you go to hit this, you got to make sure you're really focused, but it's nice that the dual climate controls come up. You could adjust it right here on the screen, which is a really nice feature. Very slim and trim. I like what Chevy's doing, like in the Camaro with the slim and trim on the AC controls. The seats to access, they're both air conditioned and heated, which is really wonderful. I like that setup. And I like the way with the trim rings, you turn the trim ring, it actually adjusts the temperature inside the car. You have a very, very, very simple uh, blower motor setup with LEDs. You have wireless charging for your phone. Remember this has obviously Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Here's what's controlling that nine speed 
automatic transmission. I really like the materials. The leather, the leather boot, the red contrast stitching, even a red RS logo. It's just little things like that that I like to see manufacturers doing because if you're going to spend the money on this, and here we're to that big question, Joe, how much does this Blazer RS cost? You're looking, the way it sits, $48,000 MSRP. Since you need a seat now that you probably passed out, here are the seats. They're very comfortable. I like how they brought this red into it with the red contrast stitching. And it really works with the Cajun red paint job ex exterior. Remember, that is a custom paint job that you do pay extra for. Also, to the center console area, I like the leather on the armrest. I like how high it comes up. It's very, very comfortable position. Inside, you got two USBs, you got a 12 volt. There's a little, I like how some manufacturers are putting a little compartment right here to rest your phone. So basically you would take the USB cord and have your phone here or have it be, you know, wireless charging. This knob, this is pretty cool. And I'll show you this when you come over to the driver's side, but you could actually go through different modes with the mode selector. This is a really, really nice setup. Why don't you kind of come on over here and I'll show you the business end of this Blazer RS. All right, guys, business end of the Blazer RS. I love the steering wheel. I wish it was a little thicker. So I'm going to zonk the thickness of the wheel, but I like the materials being used. I like the red contrast stitching and I'm really digging these little info wheels to go through all the information on the center display there. Great size, great font, great color as you roll the thumb. Uh, wheel. It's just really nice to see all the different features that you can go through. You have an analog tachometer over to the left and you have then some digital information like your coolant temp, your uh, volts from your battery, and then you have an analog um, temperature gauge and then also your fuel gauge as well. So that's a really, really nice touch. I love how comfortable it is. The seats, pretty good length. You have full eight-way adjustable seat so you could fit this to contour your particular body sunroof with this trim level you're getting a nice wonderful panoramic sunroof really great size i like how it just keeps going all the way back there you go for the people in the back but overall i love the feel like i was telling you before we get to the back this car comes with a full plethora of all the safety features from chevy and it has this little control dial here where you could go into different modes depending if it's snow, if you wanna go into sport, that's gonna adjust how the car um, delivers the power and all that good stuff. This also has heads up display. Lots of features in this package, but I think we'd all expect it for $48,000. Let's go ahead and check out the back seat where your passengers are gonna be sitting. All right guys, we're inside the back seat of the Chevy Blazer RS. I like the way they continue the materials, the red contrast stitching, the same seats. These seats are pretty comfortable. I wish they were a little bit longer, but for a pretty good drive, I feel like six feet tall, I'd be pretty good. I love the panoramic sunroof. It allows plenty of sun to come back for the passengers. USB connectivity. You know what's interesting about this Blazer? Here's a little tidbit. It has, it's a five passenger, right? Two in the front, three in the back. We actually have six USB ports. If you add them all up in the car, you have your household power source and rear AC vents, which is important, um, not only for the passengers, but for also at this price standpoint. I did not move the seat. So if you're six feet tall, this is where your seat's gonna be positioned. I got lots of room back here. That's the great thing. Roof is plenty of room. Let's go ahead. We're gonna check out the tailgate. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, time to see how much junk can you put in the trunk, the tailgate area of the new Blazer RS. You hit the button on the key fob, up she goes, nice power tailgate. And you could see what surprisingly, especially what I was thinking was, I thought this would be a lot more narrow. It's very, very wide opening. You could get that 80 inch TV real easy back here. What's kind of interesting is that Chevy designers decided to use this um, metal uh, rail system where you could actually take this little divider and you could slide it forward and back very easily, but lots of space. You're obviously gonna get the full usability of putting those seats down. It's a 60-40 split. I like the LED lighting back here. 
all you do is you pull that and down she goes. Very, very easy to utilize and just a great place to be able to put so much stuff because at the end of the day, there's a lot of you have kids, have family, got to get the stuff, got to get the kids to hockey practice and all that and get the stuff in the back of your Chevy Blazer. But if you're ready, talking about this is great. If you're ready, I'm ready to take this Blazer for a spin. Let's go check hey guys, it out. Guys, we're leaving Moss Family Chevrolet in the 2019 Chevy Blazer RS. I'll be honest, lots of space right here, feels good. I like the visibility out the side windows, the front and the back. The navigation, the infotainment, very nice size. My only problem, like I said, it's a little bit tilted and it's a little bit difficult to get your finger to make sure you're hitting the right one that you want. Overall, very comfortable. I like the actual placement of the steering wheel. It does have an electric telescoping and uh, fully adjustable steering wheel. Infotainment in the center here, great display. You use your little thumb drive and you could go through whatever features you need to. I think the bigger question is uh, that a lot of you are saying, what about that 305 horsepower from the 3.6 liter V6? Let's go find out. Get on the loud pedal. Takes a second to drop down, but when it does, it's off. For an SUV, it is actually handling really good in this long left sweeper, even over the bumps. You can put this in manual shift mode if you want to, but I'm just gonna leave it in that uh, automatic shift mode. Steering has a nice feel to it. It's not too uh, artificial. Um, I wish the steering wheel was a little bit thicker. I think on the RS, you need a thicker steering wheel and you need that RS badge. Let's see how it transitions from left to right. Brakes feel good. Like I said, you know, this is a front wheel drive. You can get it in all wheel drive. It's not meant to be a race SUV where you're gonna go up against something from Porsche or something like that. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where it gives you options in that crowded SUV market. It seems like everybody has, every brand has their, their 15, 20 SUVs they make. Um, and now here's another one, but I think it has a little, you know, unique look for sure. The front end is probably my favorite. When I first saw it, I wanted to uh, vomit in my mouth, but it's kind of growing on me. And um, I just like the space in here, especially with the panoramic sunroof. Transmission, slick shifting. Remember you got those 20 inch wheels. Not too shabby. Not too shabby for an SUV. Seats, they're comfortable, but if you're doing any kind of aggressive driving, they're not gonna hold you into place very well. Um, maybe that's another place I'm gonna zonk. So some zonks for the interior from the driving. I would like to have a little bit more bolstered seat in the RS uh, Blazer trim level. I would like a little thicker steering wheel. Maybe uh, do something about this lip with the infotainment here. Um, but other than that, very clean. I like how there's buttons, but not a ton of them. They're placed very well. You can control your AC. What's interesting is if you look right here on the dash, um, you have, it's kind of funny. Does Chevrolet want you not to shut the traction control off? Because that's like the furthest reach of a traction control off button I've ever seen. It's like, you really gotta earn it to hit that button. Another one is the, electronic glove box release. So you hit this button, down it goes. Get your gloves so that you could go uh, and race through your curvy roads in your backyard somewhere where you live. Um, over bumps, nice and smooth. Let's go ahead, we're gonna take it out onto uh, some highway here to see how she feels at a nice steady speed um, in traffic. All right guys, rolling out. Let's see that nine speed in action. Drops down, it's not as good as the 10 speed. And this is where all my confusion is, is why not just develop one gearbox, but remember different applications, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all that kind of stuff. Not as good as the 10, but 
pretty, pretty good when it comes to your standard automatic transmission. This isn't a DCT or anything like that. I like the frameless mirror, cruising along, quiet, comfortable. The one thing, like I said, if you wanna put your arm up on the side of the door here, knock, knock, who's there? Hard plastic. They, what would have been nice? Take some of the leather, they did it in the Camaro, and run it across just a small portion where your elbow's gonna rest. Because uh, you know, after a long day, the kids are driving you nuts, your, your boss is uh, you know, giving you the run around. It's nice to kind of just be able to put your elbow up here and just hold your head. Because you just got a headache from all those people. But you know what? You're in your brand new Blazer RS and it's actually a really nice, comfortable place to be. Definitely a far cry from my dad's old Blazer uh, with the bench seat and all that. But this thing, I like the digital readout. We're just cruising along here. The Cajun Red, if you need a color to attract attention, you definitely want to click that box off because um, people have been gawking not only at the color, but I also think the style of, uh, of the front end of this car for sure. But we're gonna go ahead and make a U-turn and we'll be right back. All right guys, back again, driving along in this uh, 2019 Blazer RS. What's also cool is that I like in General Motors products, when it comes to their plethora of safety features, this one has lane keep assist, obviously the adapter cruise control. When I went over into this lane without using my turn signal, it actually vibrates the bottom of the seat to let you know that, hey, you're drifting. And I kind of like that better than the annoying chirp sounds and all that that you get in a lot of other brands of cars. I'm gonna have to say overall, uh, I'm gonna eat my own words. I didn't think I was gonna like this Blazer RS. Uh, even though I gave it some zonks, I think uh, for me, $48,000 is a little out of control. And that's why Joe Rady from Rady's Rides is not going to be buying one anytime soon. But it, it's a nice little package and an option for somebody who wants an SUV that's unique, sporty, and different. 3.6, 305 horsepower. You can tow up to 4,500 pounds if you're curious with the, uh, with the Chevy Blazer. But we're getting ready to head back to Boss Family Chevrolet, so we're gonna wrap this up, and we'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another amazing day here at Moss Family Chevrolet. Definitely gotta give a huge shout out to Ricky, Mike, David Moss, Sr. and Junior. Everybody here at Moss Family Chevrolet is so opening and just, we get access. They got their first Blazer, I'm bringing it to you. If you like to see New cars like this 2019 Blazer RS, definitely leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel, on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Thank you for your continued support. If you haven't seen my other forms of social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, definitely check all those out. Radies Rise original content all the time. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Hit the button that came up somewhere above my head during this video. That'll take you right to Spreadshirt. Speaking of being thankful, I'm thankful for you, but I'm also thankful for Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner. He's feeling a little bit under the weather, but we got him some official medical grade protein to help him get better. So let's wish him well, especially with his powerlifting competition. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.